Welcome back to Premier Gal. Here we're going motor boating. It's different than the usual. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this awesome new waterproof backpack that I brought with me here to Greece in Corfu. And it's what I've been keeping all of my camera equipment in. Coming up. So let's just go ahead and just sort of walk through some of the, the features of this backpack. First of all, from the exterior, it's this sort of waterproof material and it's bright yellow so you can't miss it. On the front, it has a sort of bungee cord so you can slip in anything that you want. Right now I have my jelly water shoes in here, but you can also put a drone, you can put a towel or a water bottle there. At the bottom here, I have a towel um, hooked up with these connectors here, which is pretty cool. You can also put a tripod in the front too if you wanted to. On the sides here, you'll find two pockets for, you can put a, a little gimbal camera in here for easy access. I have the Remove UK1 here. You can also put a water bottle there. You can also put the Joby Gorilla Pod, which I'm filming with right now. Another thing about this backpack is that when you're first sealing it, which I'll show you in a second, you can have the air to deflate. So if you need to make more room in your bag and push it down, you can push out the air through this. If you want it to be more floaty, if you need to put it in the water, you wanna make sure that this is tightened when you seal it up. And on the back here, it has a nice sturdy, comfortable backing. The straps are adjustable and you can clip on the front, like so, in front of your chest when you're wearing it. And these are adjustable as well. You can take these hooks out and adjust it along here for the height of your chest, which is really useful. And also, there's a lower back brace, which I find really comfortable. You can clip this around your waist like so, and you can have extra support there. There's also here some kind of straps here that you can clip on carabiners with. So if you need to have any sort of like loose items, you can clip on a carabiner with stuff there. Um, and also, this is a smart backpack. So it can sync with your phone and it tells you the humidity levels. Right here, there's a button here and it tells you the temperature as well as the humidity level. So if you click on that power button, you have to put in um, some batteries. It doesn't come with batteries, but there's a little device inside. But let me show you the app real quick. I'll put on a screen recording on my phone. Also highly recommended, a waterproof case for your phone. You never know what might happen. I am on a boat right now. So you can go to tips here on your app and you can read up on some of the tips that it gives you to preserve the bag, such as oiling the zipper, which is very important. And under connect, you can search. So it, you need to turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. They say that you're supposed to push this button on the front continuously while you hit search. Now it says attention connected. And then under profile, if you hit that, it'll show you your current humidity levels and it says that the safe range is between 30 and 55. And the current temperature, the safe range is between minus 10 and around 50 degrees. And under settings, you can set a distance warning. So if you move far away from your backpack, you can decide whether or not you want to be alerted. Like, hey, you left your backpack behind. I'm not sure I would ever use that because I'm always like, where's the backpack? I don't think I would ever go anywhere without my backpack. I mean, if you guys are watching this, your equipment is so important to you, you're never gonna just leave your backpack around. So yeah, you can set a humidity alarm if you like to. If it goes above 55, it'll beep and say, hey, it's too, humid, you need to get it in a cooler spot. Same with temperature. So that is the Enringo app. So let's go ahead and jump inside here and I'll show you some of the features inside the backpack um, and we'll open it up and I'll show you the special sort of zipper that it has. So first off to open it up, you can clip, unclip these here. And on the other side, there's another clip. Just unclip that. 
Now this is sealed, it's a special sealed zipper. It's completely airtight, there's no water coming in here if you completely shut it off. Now to open it up, you see these two knobs here? What I'm gonna do is take my hands and make an S curve shape and it pops open like this. So immediately inside, it's kind of messy in here. It normally comes with two container bags to put inside where you can have like nice compartments for your camera. But I found that I wasn't able to take as much stuff as I needed to. So I actually removed those and I just threw everything in. So there's a, a case here for, let me just, Dip this over here. This is where your laptop can go inside of here. Right now I just have some extra equipment in there. There's some extra pockets in here. This pocket is open here where I have like a Rode microphone and a couple other essentials. Oh, there's also some pockets in here for like SD cards if you need to put SD cards in. Um, there's pen holders, card holders pretty much everything. So it's a pretty versatile backpack. Um, I'm super happy with it. I feel like such a professional when I'm walking around. I was able to test it out first on the paddle board and I got some water splashed on it from my paddle and everything was fine. Nothing was damaged. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely gonna take this everywhere I go, even if it's not in a sort of water environment. I think it looks super cool. Um, again, I would just recommend getting two of them if you, if you don't travel alone, so that way you don't have to carry all of the load of equipment on your own backpack. Oh, see it in my eyes. I see oceans